Not a bad morning view, is it? Nah. Welcome back, Magic of Middle Andres. And me, Janine. <laughs> and this morning we are headed into Glasgow. Before we head home. Talking to the moon. We are headed to Glasgow for the day. We planned this in as part of reclimatizing to civilization and humanity after we've obviously been away. It's strange um, hearing the noise and seeing that many cars and people after being in the wilderness for the past week. Um, so it's nice, but it's strange at the same time. We have been told that Glasgow was a fabulous city full of art and culture and we were told that we would love it. Just over there in the Celts with a drum, you know, as you do. Glasgow looks like a lovely hustle and bustle city so far, doesn't it? Yeah. We're a little bit in awe how Scotland offer lovely free water. There's uh, the train station, Glasgow Queen Street train station. This is a lovely little hub. So this is um, St George's Square. We walked through George's Square to get to the city side to your bus at stop at one. So on these tours you get headphones and it tells you about each place that you're going. I don't know if, if you've done them before but me and Luna have done them in Paris, Rome, Naples, London. We love them don't we? We plan to get off at Glasgow Cathedral at stop two. It's like a cemetery up there on the hill. On top of these like lampposts is the L emblem of, of Glasgow and it's a, a bird, a bell, a fish and a tree. And they are supposed to be the four miracles of Saint Mungo. I keep getting the name wrong, I'm sorry. And this is the oldest building in Glasgow and the oldest cathedral in Scotland. It's gorgeous, isn't it? The grounds and the area of here is beautiful. Wow, this is so pretty. Di has just told me that this is the middle of Glasgow. The middle of Glasgow. It is the dead centre. It is the dead centre. And how popular is it, Di? It's so popular, people are dying to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this. The commentary is telling us that there's some amazing murals around the city. Um, that is just phenomenal. This is the old merchants uh, kind of part of the city, which makes it very similar to Liverpool, like we were saying earlier on. Um, so this used to be quite really affluent, where uh, all the money used to come and then it went down and then they've built it back up, where it's now all flats and apartments, which is again, very similar to like Liverpool's structure in the city. And this clock face over here, uh, this clock tower it's got 17 bells and used to play scottish music and at the bottom it's got spikes where they used to put heads of criminals this glasgow green bit down here is where they have the massive guy fawkes events every year and the man was also talking about the football clubs being established here too. 
this over here is something to do with the Scottish legal system. And this is where the last public hanging was held. Do you know that saying, getting away scot-free? It's because in Scotland, they don't just have a guilty and a not guilty verdict. They have a not proven verdict, um, which basically means that they know you did it, but they can't prove it. So the don't do it again kind of thing. Um, and that's where the saying, getting away scot-free comes from. I love it. So this building used to be like a fisheries building and it now hosts like art studios and galleries. This is the Italian centre and it's home to an array of Italian clothing stores and restaurants. You can see the Italian on the top here. This is the uh, Gallery of Modern Art and that's hopefully where we're going to be going a bit later. This is Judge Square where we started off earlier on. Buchanan Street, that way, and that way is called the Style Mile. <laughs> Are you having fun? It's boss, isn't it? Hey, do you know if we moved here, we would be Scouse Regions. Oh my god, that would be so cool. So just down here it tells you the channels of which you've got so i've had mine on one which is in a scottish accent and luna said put it on eight it's a scottish accent and a set of halves but i've just actually gone back to eight and it's proper glaswegian accent and there's loads of slang in it it's hilarious i would definitely recommend channel eight <laughs> This is the Clyde Oratorium, or as Glaswegians call it, it's called the Armadillo. That looks so cool. Elephants in suits of armour. Motor cars, spit fires. Wondrous, wondrous things. <laughs> Just got back off at stop one at Georgia Square and now we're going to go and walk to the art gallery. Yeah. yeah. And yep, yeah, that is Wellington with a cone on his head. I love the colours in here. Oh, it sucks. Oh my god, they've got a Frida Kahlo book. 
Oh my god, they got a health freeze color selection right there. I want that cushion. Oh my gosh, they've got loads of Dali. Salvador Dali stuff, that's cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> There's a cone head from outside, that's funny. I need this colour. Oh my gosh. I need this colour. A colour and book. A stone. Carl and a stone. I need this book. Oh, that is beautiful. I need this. Oh my god, that's so Stone away. It's so good, too. Oh my god. This is a Van Gogh mug. If you know, you know. This is Gallery One. An immeasurable melody. Medicine for a nightmare. And the artist is Sing Sidhu. This room is incredible in itself. And then to come in and see all these colors and shapes, you can hear the music. This bit tells you the story of this building. What's in that strange little thing there? It's like a little viewing platform type thing you can't go through. Ah. Ooh. Gallery two is all about taste. I do like Beryl Cook's work. Democracy has bad taste. How do we tell if something's good? And who tells us that it's good? <laughs> mm. That's a question. We just stepped back in time to an old movie called Ghosts then. Isn't that gorgeous photo? Cheeky. <laughs> oh, balcony too. Hello. What's on here? History of the building again. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It used to be someone's house. Wow, imagine living here. I like that. It's like really bold, but really delicate at the same time. What are those big long things? Well, that's a very deep 
baritone sound, isn't it? It reminds me of when we were in the museum in Liverpool and we yes. sat down the edge at light night. Yes. So should we sit down there for a minute and see? Make some faster movements and see what it looks like. Can you spread around it as if you were as if you were a hurricane? This is called Domestic Bliss. Huge space. I like this. This is definitely our house in the 80s. There really is some amazing street art around Glasgow. I'd love to come back in and do a street art tour. <laughs> when you scatter the seeds, whenever yeah. you settle the ground stuff. Oh, it's gorgeous, but this fan's in the way, so we can't really get a picture. It's come to the end of the day in Glasgow, and we are about to have our dinner in Bar Burrito. <laughs> Luna loves you burritos. Caramelized churros. So do I. So that has been our day in Glasgow, having a tour around tour for stopping a few sites, and, and it's our been last lovely. Day in Scotland. And our last day in Scotland. The next time we'll be back, we'll be doing a review of our Scottish trip. Um, where we'll talk about some hints and tips, calculate what we've spent, give some recommendations, and that will be it for this place. Playlist, 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 yeah. So, I'm uh, sending out loads of love to everybody as always. So, I will hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. So, that's it. Stay <laughs> awesome, stay warm, look after the winter day. Bye, Magic Moon Wanderers! Bye! Talking to